Who forgot to double bag the trash with the seafood remains from the night before? Well, you can guess what happened. Yep, it leaked right in the back of the car. We're going to tell you how to get rid of that odor. You can guess what happens when you have a seafood dinner leftovers that has not been properly trash bagged, double and triple bagged. It leaked all in that carpet that you're seeing there. The protector that we had did not protect the carpet at all. You'll see coming in this clip coming right there. That protector didn't help us coming up. What we did to get rid of that odor, 100%. So you can only imagine what the smell of several hours on a hot summer day of that leaking trash in that carpet would have been like. It just sat in that car, it leaked, it went through the, the rubber mat that you saw previously into the carpet and the pad. We're using this description here to give you some sense of what, it, what happened. The back seat of our automobile is like a trough, almost like a pan, which is good because it, it controls any liquid spills. So what we did here, just to, just to give you a quick show, is we used a cover from a storage container like this. This is kind of what the back of that, where you put your feet down on the back, of, back seat of a car, looks like. The trash had leaked through the carpet, through this pad, and right into this metal pot right here. This mimics the back of the car. So the key when you're trying to get rid of that disgusting odor is you have to chase the odor everywhere it went. You cannot miss, for example, if you see a big round spot here where the, the fish or whatever it was that creates the, the odor, if you see it here, but some of it actually leaked here that you don't get, if you don't make physical contact with these detergents, the odor will remain. It's just, you have to make full contact with a properly, proper chemicals diluted properly for enough contact time for the chemicals to do their job, okay? So what we did, we gave it just a quick vac to get rid of sand and soils. Um, we used our nose to pinpoint exactly where the smell was. We decided to do the whole area. It was about this big that we did in the car that you saw in, in the previous clip. It's pretty simple, but you gotta follow some basic rules. We used a two quart pump container like this, standard garden sprayer with hot water. Two quarts of hot water. You can use warm, hot is better. I wouldn't use tepid or cool water. It just doesn't have the same chemical reaction. We're gonna use this product. This is a powdered, oxygenated cleaner. You would mix that with this product, which is, it's called skunk odor removal, but it works on a lot of organic um, odors and some stains. So these two together in here, what we did was one scoop of this product in two quarts of hot water and about four ounces of this. This is highly concentrated. If you put more than four ounces, it's a pleasant smelling product, but you'll never get the smell out of your, your automobile. So four ounces and one scoop here. And we'll leave the directions down below to in links to these chemicals also. And what we did was we pumped this up and we saturated this area. Now, because it's an automobile that ha and it's got sides and it can't really travel everywhere, if you wanted to, you could mix this, shake it well. You have to mix this aggressively, this powder. It has to dissolve completely. You can actually pour it in the area. If you can pinpoint using your nose where the odor is, you can just pour it in. Rub it in with a brush, let it sit there. We did this two applications. We used half of this, so one quart, on the first application. Let it sit for half an hour. Then we, all you did was use a regular small shop vac like this, and then you can use it with or without this piece, and we pulled up the, the liquid. And what happens is some of the odor will stay from this. Now we thought, after we did it, what we did was let it sit for half an hour, we used the shop vac to pull up any liquids, he had the car out for about a half an hour, and we still thought we smelled a little something, so we took the remaining quart here of the hot water mixed with these two products, poured that all over the carpet, let it sit, and again, you have to put enough liquid, whether you use the spray or the pour method, you have to make sure the back of the carpet gets damp with the product, the padding underneath, and then into the floorboard. The way you do that is to make sure you put enough that when you push down on it with your hand, 
it bubbles up and you can see that it's sitting there and saturated. We let it sit for an, another half hour. We used the shop vac a second time to pull everything out. We were satisfied that the odor's gone. The odor should be 100% gone before you do your final shop vac of the liquids. That way you'll know. It isn't like it takes time, like overnight, to get rid of the odor. It shouldn't. These products working together should get that odor out in one, um, one application or two applications. Then you would just dry it. We used the fan to speed dry the area. And we had this for about three or four days. There was, there was a little bit of this smell in it, and it eventually dissipated. And now there is absolutely no rotten fish smell um, in the car. If you want, we have other videos on how to use a, a rinse agent. This is an acidic-based rinse that we use a lot in our business to rinse carpets, especially wool, oriental rugs sometimes. But anytime there's any kind of organic staining or odors, we use that to rinse as well. You can, again, mix this according to directions, one to two ounces per gallon. So in a two quart, you'd probably use one, one and a half ounces. Saturate the area, let it sit, and then use the shop vac to pull it up. Make sure you dry it quickly. So if, you're gonna, if you can do it, do it indoors if, if the weather is not cooperating outside, but you can put a fan against the bottom of the seat and blow dry it. Um, you don't want to leave it all shut up with the windows because the moisture will have no place to dissipate. And occasionally, we get feedback from customers or folks who are trying to do their own do-it-yourself method of cleaning odors from any kind of fabric or carpet that the process didn't work for them. The only time in all the years we've been doing this that we found that it, it didn't work was, was for one, the two main reasons are the chemicals were not left to remain in contact long enough, and that's key. They, these chemicals take time to do what they're supposed to do. This destroys an odor and this pairs an odor and changes its chemical structure. Well, both of them actually do that, but they work in different ways. So one, sufficient contact time. Two, they did this area, but there's a little bit of odor over here, and they didn't investigate hot enough, and they didn't saturate this area as well. So you have to chase the odor wherever it is on whatever you're trying to clean and follow the directions about how to dilute the chemicals. Use hot water, follow the directions, leave a comment or a question below if you get stuck. We'll be more than happy to help. But repeat the process. The, when, this is, when you're done with the final extraction or using the shop vac to pull this moisture out, there should be no more bad odors. It shouldn't have to wait for the next day for the chemical to work. It should work within the two 30 minute dwell times that you do it. If, you, if it doesn't, repeat the process, make sure you get all that odor and saturate. Don't just spray a little bit of this on because it won't get in the back of the comp and in the back of the pad and down to the floorboard in your vehicle. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, and we hope you did, hit that like button, subscribe, we have to have a great, we'd love to get you as a subscriber. Hit the little bell and you'll be notified as well about any videos that we upload. Thanks again. Questions, comments, please leave them below. And links to all these items in the process is down below in the, in the description section as well. Thank you again.